Yo, what's the word? So we got this whole situation with Big Meech and this Cuffy situation. So Cuffy said that it was a third party snitch agreement that um, this lady by the name of Tammy was going to come in and, um, you know, set him up. And then because she don't have a case that's on foul with the FBI, she was going to give her time to Meech so they can reduce his sentence. Now, what Meech came home for, this doesn't have anything to do with this, you guys, because this lady Tammy ended up getting that. Um, that that wasn't the case because I guess allegedly she was doing something with one of the uh, DEA agents or something. So they backed out of that deal. You know, um, y'all probably heard the story. But basically, Tammy, you know, was dating Blue Da Vinci first. And then she started rocking with Meech. So she's been around BMF for years, I'm assuming, right? And um, I talked to WAC 100 about it, which is the clip I'm going to play. And uh, he kind of break it down, the whole Tammy relations, how Tammy came about, you know, and why Blue Da Vinci actually was probably originally mad at Meech because of the Tammy lady, like he, him thinking that Meech took Tammy from him. But y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think. It's death for the cloud chaser. Me shit. So Mickey Truth, bro, she came out and said that on the transcript, the, um, when they asking, the, you know what I'm saying, the prosecutors about if Big Meech knew anything about this third party agreement and shit, they say no. You know what I'm saying? They said no, bro. That's what Mickey Troop said. Yo, listen, Mickey Troop is the fact that don't understand the streets. So let's break this down. Yeah. Let's talk about this it. This has been a BMF day one. That was Blue Da Vinci. What? Let's start with that. That's what I'm saying. She, let's she start sits there. there, bro, with her big ass glasses like she knows. What? Hold on, street. hold on, hold on. Wacky, you, where you that get was Blue from? Da Vinci. Like Part of the reason why Blue Da Vinci really salty with me she just won't say that that's he was his bitch that was his brawl yeah Tammy was. Tammy was Tammy was his his girl that's a okay. fact that's a now, fact Tammy now. was his girl so this let let you know trouble. this this established establishes how long she been in the circle of BMF all right now whenever the bitch went bad we don't know when the bitch went bad but we do know she went bad now let's do the math originally who had the life rights to BMF and me? Who had me to life rights originally? Uh, Cuffy. Cuffy. Okay. He had now. it for two years. Okay. Now, all of a sudden, the word that come to him about a move that need to be made. The word go through Tammy from me, Tammy to him. He make the move. He get wrapped up on it. He really don't know what's going on until the paperwork hit, until motherfuckers is taking a stand. Now, you can say what you want to say, right? But if yeah. your bitch, who been a part of this thing, come to me to make a move, and then it turns out to be a federal sting, right? And now all of a sudden, the life rights, you did transfer to the bitch that you seen take the stand. Let me slow down. Yeah, Big slow Meech. down for just a Big, second. Slow down for just Big a second. Meech. So, Big ahead. Meech, the leader of BMF, transfers his life rights to Tabby after his mans get lined up by Tabby and he sees and knows she's a federal confidential informant. Let me slow it down a little more. Tabby. So look. Big me bitch. Him. Sends the message to Cuffy on the play. Cuffy get caught up in the play. But what you forgot though, they was they was actually out after the masking. She was Hold after on. the masking. Hold she on. was it, after it, the masking it, first. It don't, listen, listen, it don't matter. Tammy put Cuffy with the masking by means of this nigga. You gotta remember. Meech money didn't triple the way it did until he got up on the cuffy. Everybody tell you that. Say this, though, Wack. I gotta say this. Everybody I gotta tell this you that. The conversation, though. So what you said that could be true, right? Ain't no could that, be that because could right be. now today, Fifty Cent before Meech got out had to do the deal with who? Tammy. 
Did he have to do it with me, son? With me, mm-hmm. baby mama? With me, brother? Mm-hmm. With me, mama, daddy, sister? Did any? Who did me get a life right to? Tammy. A bitch he knew that did what? Cooperated. And you saying he don't know that what? That wasn't the first time she cooperated. Hey, l- l- it don't matter. He knew that time. And what did yeah. he do? Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, oh. nigga, I, I don't know where y'all come from. You know what, bro? Yeah, you know nigga, what? Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Don't say y'all. Don't say yeah. y'all. Yeah, but bro, Chuck, I gotta, you know did what I break you down? <laughs> <laughs> I got to talk my shit. You hear me? Well, now, watch this. <laughs> when he paroled. Did he parole at Tammy or did he parole the little Meech Mama? Uh oh. Meech Mama. Uh, well, what the fuck? Then why she ain't had a life right? Huh? He must got something on him. No. The bitch was working with that third party, nigga. Nigga, yeah. That's to get that, huh? Yeah, there but they it go. Say, but look, listen. They you give that type of up. shit to the people that's going to benefit you the most. But what, Why did though, little Meech Mama, whose son starred in the shit, have the life rights? That's true. But look, say say like, for example, though, I don't understand this. But, well, I do do understand it. I just want you to play it out for him, right? But, you know what I'm saying? Basically, she she got the life rights. You know what I'm saying? And say no, 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 no. Who gave them to her? Meech. Oh, okay. There we go. Where Meech parole from? What's the word, gang? So Rallo got a message for Big Meech. And um, I guess he's responding to some of the rumors that's been out in regards to the Cuffy situation. I did a little bit of research on that. And um, I'm waiting to get these transcripts that uh, Mickey Truth was talking about. But apparently Mickey Truth say, if you look inside the transcripts, the feds confirmed that Big Meech didn't know anything about what the girl Tammy was doing when she was, you know, doing a third party snitch cooperation with the feds so you know that's still up in the air they still gonna look into that you know um me personally you know big me story alone that shit probably worth a billion dollars you know because think about it they put it in motion pictures it go to the movies that movie definitely gonna do 500 million to a billion in sales come on think about american gangster but this american gangster of our time a lot of these stories are before We were even, like, a lot of us, like, you know, not a lot of us, but, you know, a lot of people that's intrigued with this culture, you know, before they was even alive or they was young, you know, very young. So, you know, now you got the story like Big Meech, just recent, you know what I'm saying, within the past couple of decades, you know, his story, he made millions of dollars. But um, Rallo got this message, he say, the streets is dead, OG, get this legal money and stay out these F niggas way. Don't even worry about a F nigga. Say most of these so-called street dudes ain't even made a million out the dope game, but always talk street shit. Now, I want y'all to get in the comments and give me your opinion on that because that is something to say. You know, Rallo, he's on record for making millions out the dope game as well as, you know, being incarcerated for it, you know, coming home and, Still going back to his community, trying to rebuild what he what he had started building before he got locked up, which is credit to him because a lot of people, once they get hit by the streets, like as far as go to jail or, you know, certain people might not be riding with them or people cooperating on them. A lot of times they turn their back on the streets when they get out and they, they be like, you know, I ain't rocking with them guys. I ain't rocking with that neighborhood no more. They did me bogus. So I know it's different aspects of it, but um. Uh, Rallo definitely a stand-up dude for doing that, I think. You know, going back to his neighborhood and trying to build what he had started building before he got locked up. Now, Big Meech, you know, we haven't heard much about Big Meech. We seen the picture go viral yesterday, him getting a fresh cut by the barber. And the barber took a um, picture with him, you know. Um, I think that um, Big Meech got a bright future ahead of him. That's for sure. You know, and as uh, far as the streets... He don't really need to even dabble into the streets. He could probably even become a motivational speaker and get 20, 30, 40, 50,000 a show. You know, just going around the country motivating people because I'll go see it. I'll go see what he's talking about because whether you come from the streets or you know somebody close to you that was in the streets, 
you know, a lot of people can relate to it, especially if you're here in America, you know, because um, being brown, black, you know, this 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 type of stuff just comes with it. You know what I'm saying? It becomes a lifestyle. It's a way to get about the streets. But uh, Big Meech, salute to him. He's home. Um, right now, I think he's spending time with family, you know. That's probably what it is. Spending a lot of time with family just adjusting. Remember, our phone didn't even exist. You know what I'm saying? And back then, shit, we had, like, what, MySpace? We got all these social media platforms now. You know, everything moving in seconds. You know, just adjusting to that. It's probably crazy. Even though he was in the feds, I wouldn't be surprised if he had an iPhone in that damn federal penitentiary. He big meech. You know, um, but I wonder, who do you think hit him, though? Hit his hand, though? Like, far as rappers. Because I know for a fact 